Hello everyone, it's Dawn Fisher of Morning Glory Needleworks. Welcome to my sixth Floss 2 video. I just want to thank everyone who's already subscribed, commented, liked my channel. I really appreciate it. And a little housekeeping, as always, any links um, to items I describe or Facebook pages I talk about are in the description of the video down at the bottom. Uh, below the video on Zoom, if you're on the, the home page, there'll be a, a little description down there. And if you click on show more, it will show the whole paragraph I've typed up, plus um, any links to at my Etsy shop, my email, uh, Facebook pages, all the information will be right there. So it's the 15th of March. I have a lot to cover, a lot of exciting news. So here we go. Life update. Uh, I'm very excited to announce that the new antique shop, Gulfport Antiques and Collectibles, is open and ready for business. And um, again, below in the links, I provided a link to their Facebook uh, page. And our shop was actually featured this week or yesterday. So you can look at that and you can see more pictures and close-up pictures of some of the items we have. I'm going to go over some of that in a little bit. Uh, the address is 5812 28th Avenue South in Gulfport. And if you need more information or directions, you can call 727-851-9774. And also, if you're interested, you can follow our uh, Facebook page for Morning Glory Cottage. That's our antique um, business that we have. And um, I've updated that page with pictures. So you can, um, you can see some of the uh, items we have for sale. So I thought it'd be fun to show a few pictures of the shop. On the left is um, actually the outside, that's 28, or that's 58th uh, Street on the left there. And you can see uh, the sign out front that says Gulfport Market, Comfort Cafe, which is real cute little, um, uh, or real cute little restaurant and then antiques and collectibles. And on the right, we're all the way at the end of the mall or of the strip mall. And it's uh, there's the front door, Gulfport Antiques and Collectibles. Now, I just wanted to show a few pictures. You can see this uh, picture on the left is a view of the entire mall from the front of the store. So it's a nice, small little mall. You can get through it in a short amount of time, but I hope you stay longer and buy lots of stuff. But um, Everything's very clean, it's very bright. There's no dingy uh, areas. You don't have to crawl over stuff to get to everything. Um, on the right is a picture of some of the items that are for sale. I'm gonna show, these are not ours. This is not our booth, but these are some of the other vendors uh, that, are, that have booths here in the mall. And some of these vendors actually came from the mall we used to be at, the Sunshine Skyway Mall. They also had shops in there, but when the mall closed, uh, they moved in here. So, and they told me, so then we moved in here. So I'm very excited, but you can see everything's nice, bright, uh, clean. Here's some more. Now on the left, that is all Jim Shore items, or almost all. I love Jim Shore. If you like Jim Shore, you're gonna wanna come and see all of this. She has some beautiful pieces for sale. Again, that's not ours but um, I would like to buy it all and take it home, but I won't. And on the right, this is a Chin. She was also at the um, Skyway Mall with us and she makes these beautiful stained glass um, windows and hangings and lamps, everything. It's, it's just beautiful. And she, she makes them right here in the shop. So it's just, it's just lovely. And here are some other vendors, just uh, some of the items they have for sale. Again, more items for sale. Now, this is our booth. So on the left is um, all our salt and pepper shakers. We have tons of them. We used to have like five times that many, but we sold quite a few at the other place. But we have a lot of unique salt and pepper shakers and a lot of different items. And on the right, um, there's some glassware, some um, 
different items we have for sale, just some fun items uh, on the wall. You can see there's a print. We have some lamps. Here again uh, on the left is some of the uh, pottery and items we have for sale. Uh, this I love the uh, cat print with the little cat in a box. He's for sale. And above that is a really uh, unique piece um, that was handmade. It's it's actually 3D. It's made out of fabric. The face and hands and legs are printed and then cut out. And the girl or woman that made this actually formed clothing out of uh, napkins and lace. And her hair is actually, it looks like doll hair. I'm not sure, but it's like real hair. So it's, it's a real fun piece. And that's for sale in our shop. And on the right, that's our whole shop. So you can see that's our little area, our booth area. We have a few little bit of furniture. We're gonna be moving more stuff in. We have some beautiful um, antique prints, uh, very old. Some of them are very old, but eventually we'll be moving more stuff in. And I plan to um, bring some of my samplers. I do have a few samplers for sale. So I'll probably bring those down eventually and hang those up also. So again, that's our shop and we're very excited. Um, like I said, it's, it's a very nice area it's in. It's a little bit different. It's kind of, it's not downtown. It's um, a little bit north. I think it's a little bit north of town. And then uh, across the street is a beautiful park where people come. Uh, I can see a lot of people walking around. There's a big pond, people walking around. They have duck crossing signs. So it's a really nice area. And um, so it'll be a it'll be a fun place to visit. So next on the agenda, I always talk about some of the vintage and antique items that I have in my collection. I have a lot of different items, but this time I thought it would be fun to talk about my vintage scissor holders. I just think these are so cute. They came like this. She has a little um, plastic spool of thread, which actually comes off. You can, there's two little pieces of plastic. You can pull those together and pull the, pull the spool of thread off. And it's purple to match her outfit. Um, her, out, her outfit is actually a pale, pale lavender. There's her little head, which is, um, it's supposed to be a pin cushion, but it's, I think it's styrofoam. So it's actually fairly hard. But anyway, she's kind of looks like she's from, um, the Arabian Nights or something, um, Aladdin and the Lamp. And uh, she is marked, but I can't read the marking on it. But um, I'm not sure how old this one is. I'd say anywhere from mid-century up to the 70s. I'm not sure. But she has. she's holding her little pair of scissors in her hand. Scissors are in kind of rough shape, but I, I just leave them there because they're so cute. Then to match that one, I have another one that's very similar. This one's a little geisha, and I had to buy her because I love Asian, um, Asian items, Japanese items. She's got her little obi on the back. Again, her head is like, her top of her head is styrofoam, so you could um, put a pin in it like that, put a pin in it. And she's got her little spool of white thread and her little pair of um, scissors that go in that go in her hand. And she is marked. She may be newer than the other one. It actually says JSNY Taiwan, whatever that means. I've not done any research on it. I know there's more of these. Oh, her um her little spool of thread came out of her hand. I need to, it was glued in there. I need to re-glue it in her hand. Oh no, I've broken her. She'll be fine. I'll just glue her back together later. Next, I love this one. This one's probably a little bit older. Isn't she cute? It's a cat, a little cat, and she has all sorts of storage places. She's got this little um, hole in her nose for scissors. I just think that's really cute. So it looks like she has glasses on. She's sitting on a spool of thread here. 
She also has a slit in the side. I'm not quite sure what that's for. I'll have to think about that. I don't know um, what you would put in that slit, maybe a pack of needles or something. She also has a hole in the top of her head. Uh, I don't know, um, you know, it may have been, it may have been a little pin cushion at one time. I'm not sure, or it may hold, a, may have held a big pair of scissors. Uh, I put this pair in here. She did not come with scissors when I got her. And the cutest part I think is she is also a tape measure. I don't want to pull it out too far because it's in pretty bad shape, but that, um, turn it around. The little tape measure pulls out of her butt and um, they must have lost the little tag on the end because somebody put an old bread twisty tie on it. But I'm just gonna leave that on there because that's the way I found her. But I just think she's adorable. And of course I love cats, but she is so cute. And then the next one, the final one I'm gonna talk about, I think uh, I've mentioned before that I, um, lived in Holland, Michigan for quite a while. So here's little Dutch kids, scissor holders. Isn't that just cute? I think this is, this is so adorable. Now this one's probably earlier. This may be um, from the forties or something. I'm not sure, I don't have a date on it. I would have to, again, do some research on it. It actually is supposed to hang on the wall. It has a little hole there to hang on the wall. Um, it is marked made in Japan on the bottom, it does, it's not occupied Japan, it's just Japan. And then they have all sorts of holes in them to put scissors in. That would be for a longer pair. She has a little hole in her backside for a little pair of scissors. He has a little hole in his backside for another pair of scissors. But I just think this is adorable. And notice he's standing on a little box to make himself tall enough to reach up to kiss her. And I, you know, I don't know how many of you've seen, but growing up in Holland, Michigan, there was all these little kissing Dutch kids all over the place. Uh, usually they were separate and then you would put them together and they would be kissing like this. They had lawn ornaments and salt and pepper shakers, things to set on the shelf, everything, but they were cute little kissing Dutch kids. But this is my favorite, I think of all of them. It's just, um, really, really sweet. Uh, they're all made of um, porcelain or ceramics. And um, so there you have it. Another fun little item in my um, vintage collectibles that I have. So next, Stitch of the Month. I just wanna give a quick update. Um, again, thank you to everyone who joined the Stitch of the Month Facebook page. We are currently over 360 members. So I'm just thrilled with that. It just keeps growing and growing. Um, it, so on April 1st, no fooling, uh, we'll, we're gonna have a new stitch of the month. I'm not quite sure what one I'm gonna do, but if there's um, one you wanna learn or one you're having problems with, be sure to let me know. And I will be happy to um, work through the stitch. I may already have it diagrammed. And hopefully I can show you how to do it and uh, make, um, make sure you know how, how I do it anyway. There's always different ways to do every stitch, but uh, I just wanna make sure that um, you know how, um, how to work a lot of uh, different stitches because it's fun. I like adding different stitches to my, um, all of my pieces, even if it just calls for cross stitch. I use other stitches in their place quite often. So the next thing, I wanna talk about one of my antique samplers. So I'm gonna um, bring up pictures of it so you can see it. It's, um, it's a beautiful sampler and um, I think you'll enjoy learning a little bit about it. So this sampler was made by Eleanor. Uh, the sampler measures approximately 12 inches wide and 15 and a half inches high. The linen is about 40 threads per inch and the sampler was stitched using silk threads. Uh, Eleanor did use a few specialty stitches on, on the sampler, including satin stitch, eyelet, 
and marking, which is also known as a four-sided stitch. And the beautiful sampler, it was stitched by Eleanor, but unfortunately we don't know her last name because someone actually cut it out of the sampler and they cut out the year it was stitched. So as you can see on this close up of the sampler, her name is Eleanor, but next to it, there's a big hole where somebody cut it out. And then down here at the end, it says Eleanor finished this work in the year. It should say year, uh, but that has been cut out. Um, it may have had her age in there. Maybe that's why they cut it out. I don't know, but it, it's very sad. Someone may have not wanted anybody to know that they this sampler was in their family and they sold it. But it, it just, um, it breaks my heart to see that somebody uh, cut this out. And you can also see uh, there's a few um, holes in the center where it says finish this. There's some holes there, probably because it was folded in the middle and probably kept in a drawer or a box somewhere. The bottom picture, you can also see there's a large hole in the middle of it. Um, it was it was reframed. It is framed now. I did not frame it, but it was framed many years ago because it's actually nailed, currently nailed to a piece of cardboard. I have not taken it apart yet, but that may be um, maybe something I will do in the future. So Eleanor stitched this um, enchanting verse, which was written by Elizabeth Singer Rowe who was born in 1674 and died in 1737. Now, I don't know if that's um, any indication of the date of this sampler, but obviously it would be after that date. Um, Elizabeth, who wrote the poem, was born in Ilchester in Somerset, Somersetshire, September 11, 1674. And Eleanor, who stitched the sampler, did leave out part of the long poem and move some of the verses and lines around, but all of the charm and wonder of the verse remains. And the poem is titled On the Works of Creation. So it says, where'er I cast my wondering eyes around, the God I seek in every part is found. Pursuing thee, the flowery fields I trace and read thy name on every spire of grass. The pink, the jasmine, and the purple rose, perfumed by thee, their fragrant leaves disclose. The feathered choir that welcome in the spring, by thee were taught their various notes to sing. The sun in all his splendor wears thy beams and drinks in light from thy exhaustless streams. The moon reveals by her glimmering ray Unnumbered stars, thy glorious paths display, beauty complete and majesty divine, in all thy works, adored creator shine. Isn't that lovely? I just think this is a beautiful sampler. And again, I'm really sad that somebody felt the need to cut out um, the last name, but I still love it and it's in my collection. I hope you enjoyed um, looking at Eleanor's sampler. Uh, again, I think it's a, it's a lovely, sweet sampler. So now, exciting news. I am so excited. My uh, latest design, Fair Virtue, is now available for sale in my Etsy shop. This is um, a teaching piece. When you buy the sampler, when you buy this, you will get a kit. I'll go over the kit in a minute, and you will be provided a link to an online class. This is going to be a perpetual class. It's over two hours of instruction on how to work all of the stitches on this piece, which I'm going to go over again in a minute. But I'm really excited after a lot of uh, waiting for um, my linen to come in and placing orders for all the silk floss. And uh, a lot of time spent making kits and cutting up floss. If you follow me on Facebook, 
book, you've seen all uh, the pictures of uh, me assembling kits and cutting and sorting floss. I had no idea how long it was going to take me to um, cut and rebind all this uh, silk floss for every kit. There's 10 different shades of silk. So it, it took quite a while. And I will let you know there's a limited amount of kits on my Etsy site uh, available right now. Um, if they sell out or get close to selling out, I will order more. I just, I want to make sure, I didn't want to order a couple hundred and then not have them sell, but I'm really hoping um, that you will um, like this and purchase it. So I'm going to go over the kit. I want to tell you a little bit about the sampler first. It's um, got a lovely palette of soft colors. Also, this is um, also known as Honor Thy Mother. There's a separate verse and other information that go in here for honor thy mother. It's a, a verse to honor your mother. And then you would put your mother's name here, her mother's name and her mother's name here. So it's um, just to honor your ancestors, your female ancestors. It's um, the kit will have both versions. The, so you can stitch the fair virtue verses or you can stitch the honor thy mother. It's up to you. So the sampler uh, includes 12 stitches, diagonal cross stitch, crosswood bar, uh, satin stitch, triple rice, rapid stitch, rice over two threads, Smyrna cross over two threads, double cross, black work, queen stitch over four threads, queen stitch over six threads, French stitch and canvas lace. So those are all the different stitches um, that you will be taught. I don't know if you've taken a class from me before or if you've watched the stitch of the month, you can see how I teach. I will show you the PowerPoint and go over each diagram and all the steps for the stitch, the colors to use, where to place the stitches, everything. Then I will demonstrate the stitch for you. So you can see how it works up, how you um, actually work the stitch. And the best thing is uh, the, the entire, you will always have access to this recording. And what I've done, just like I do my floss tube videos, it's been broken up into chapters or sections. So each section will have its own uh, chapter. So there's a chapter for the vine here, which is diagonal cross and cross with bar. There's another section for the satin stitch to do the satin stitches. There's sections for each of these bands that goes over each of the stitches. And you'll be able to go directly to the section you want to work on. So if you've already done, you're halfway through, you don't have to scroll through the whole video. You can just click on the link and it will take you directly to uh, your next section. And you can replay it as many times as you want in case um, you may need to go over the stitch a few times to see how it's done. So this is the kit. It includes 32 count toasted almond linen. This is beautiful, fabulous linen. This is by Fabrics by Stephanie. It includes 10 shades of the Dinky Dyes silk. Um, there's um, instructions, full instructions. There's three charts. There's um, two charts for fair virtue. One's in color, one's in black and white. Then there's a third chart that is for um, the honor thy mother. And that one's only in color. The, the sampler, other than the, the verses and words are exactly the same, but that, um, that will give you the opportunity to use whichever uh, whichever verse you want to use. And I want to show you this. These are the beautiful dinky dyes silks that are included in the kit. There's 10 different shades of the silks and they are just wonderful, fabulous to work with. I'm, I'm so happy um, that I use these. So, uh, okay, so I've gone over everything that's in the kit. And then again, once you buy the kit from my Etsy shop, you will receive an email with a link. Once I ship the kit, you will receive an email with a link to uh, the uh, 
to the YouTube video. It will be on YouTube. It's a private listing that you can only get to if you purchase the kit and you will have a link to that. And then you can just save that in your books, bookmarks and uh, work, um, work on it as, as you have time. It's, it's great because this is a lot of people can't travel or especially right now don't want to travel, but it saves a lot of expense and time and you can just take this class at home. So I'm, I'm very excited uh, to bring this to you. And I'm excited of actually, I posted it and within a couple of hours, somebody had actually already bought the kit. So I'm very excited about that. And again, there's a link to my Etsy shop in the description below, but um, I'm very excited about that. And if you have any questions or comments, again, please comment in the uh, below the, the floss tube video here, and I will be happy to um, answer any questions you may have. So that's it for this floss tube. Thank you again and again to everyone who has liked, subscribed, commented on my videos, uh, and be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified um, when the next video posts. And goodbye for now, and I will see you on the 1st of April.